So we got our coffee. We're gonna hit the road for Nashville. We got about two and a half hours until we are in Nashville. So here we go. Next stop. we've made it to our hotel it is pouring rain right now and we picked the perfect spot without even realizing it because it has an indoor ramp to the parking lot for the hotel so like we probably won't have to walk in this rain outside to get our luggage to our hotel room which is awesome so definitely feel like we lucked out and like won the hotel lottery with the weather so super excited we're here so we're gonna check in we're gonna get into our room and then we are going to see about dinner so it is about five o'clock here so um we'll be looking for dinner soon after we get all settled into our room but we made it nashville tennessee stop number two we were so excited when we saw that we had a corner room. There was so much light coming from our two windows. And we spent a little time admiring our new view as well. Not a bad one. Once we were all settled in and freshened up, we got a taxi to take us to the heart of downtown Nashville so we could get some food and explore the nightlife. The first stop we made in downtown Nashville was Margaritaville. <laughs> I was so excited when I saw this place, though I completely didn't realize that we most definitely have one of these back home in Chicago. And had I known that, we probably would have started with a more local place, but we stayed for a round of margaritas anyway. And the margaritas were delicious, by the way. Now on to find some food. We found a bar called Tequila Cowboy and they had an awesome country band playing. They played a lot of covers and it was just so nice to be listening to some more live music. And their food was pretty delicious. We started with some delicious cheese curds with some ranch dressing. Side note, it's not so easy to film and dunk your cheese curd at the same time. <laughs> or is that just me? Next up was some beer can chicken with green beans and mashed potatoes. Beer can chicken, baby, it's delicious. It's good? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was good. When we got done eating, we continued walking around the downtown area. And before we knew it, we found a very special surprise waiting for us off the main road. So this bar called Headquarters in Chicago is one of our favorite barcades ever. And we just found one in Nashville and just had a PB and J shot. And I'm super excited because, yeah. oh my gosh, it's like we're home, but in a different city, maybe even a better city. <laughs> but oh my gosh, we found Headquarters in Nashville. So like I mentioned, we have a headquarters back home in Chicago too. Headquarters was one of the places that Ryan took me on our first date. 
He kicked my butt at a game called Burger Time on our first date, but it's a game we play whenever we go now and I'm slowly getting better and one day I'll beat him. Maybe. I will have it set on the record, though, that I did beat him in another game we call Bubble Hockey and he is now no longer undefeated. Anyway, this place holds a special spot in our hearts and always takes me back to one of the best dates and nights of my life. The next place we hopped over to was Nudie's Honky Tonk after the legendary Nudie Cone. For those who might not know, Nudie was a famous tailor that made seriously blinged out beautiful costumes for all sorts of stars including Hank Williams, Gene Autry, Johnny Cash, John Lennon, Bob Dylan, Roy Rogers, Elton John, and the king himself, Elvis Presley, just to name a few. It was so neat to hang out at that Silver Dollar Bar for a couple of drinks while listening to, you guessed it, more live music. Going back to Ryan and I's first date, this night reminded me of that night in a lot of ways. The night we met was towards the beginning of my first summer living in Chicago, officially on break from school, so all the free time in the world to just explore when I was not working. That night, I expressed how I wanted to spend the summer exploring the local neighborhoods rather than the touristy Chicago stuff that I was used to doing during the school year. A Chicago local himself, Ryan spent the evening taking me to as many of his favorite bars as he could. It was a dream and he immediately stole my heart. Now, five years later, we are exploring a brand new city, hopping from bar to bar just like that night, and discovering new favorites together. What I loved about downtown Nashville and what it's really known for is its live music scene. Literally every bar from morning until night is playing live music, so you just get to walk around until you find some music you like and go ahead and walk on in, though sometimes you gotta wait in line for a little bit. We found new country, old country, rock and roll, and punk just in the few hours we walked around downtown. Needless to say, our first night in Nashville was a complete success. Just look at that smile. It is a beautiful morning here in Nashville. We are on our way. We are downtown, we parked, and we are on our way to see the Country Music Hall of Fame. I am so excited. Country music's my favorite. I took so many pictures in here once we got inside. I won't overwhelm you with the hundreds that I took, but honestly, if you like music at all, this is a must visit kind of place. There's so much memorabilia in here from all of the music legends from country music's beginning all the way to current stars of today. I totally geeked out seeing one of Nudie's legendary cars that he customized with silver dollars and guns and Elvis Presley's car that he decked out in gold, of course. Overall, I was completely blown away. It was so surreal to walk through these halls and admire all of the clothing, cars, musical instruments, and other possessions that the stars wore and used throughout their careers. 
There's just simply too much to dive deep into. That in itself would take hours. And in that time, I would just recommend you take a visit to the museum yourself. You will not be disappointed. So for lunch, we found a place called Prince's Hot Chicken, which from what we were able to research is like the original place of Tennessee hot chicken. So I'm super excited. We're super excited to try it. Um, yeah, Prince's Hot Chicken, see how it goes. we decided to take a walk at a park downtown. Walking by this park in the river. No, not in the river. Next to the river. <laughs> and oh my gosh, look what we found. We found swings! <laughs> we found swings! <laughs> How cool is this? <laughs> park at first and there's this big open space with a few um ping pong tables like concrete ping pong ping pong tables so you just bring your paddle and your ball and you can play in the park it's awesome so many cool things just like embedded in this and it's along the river it's so pretty a little chilly a little breezy but really pretty spring day
Now off to our next adventure. So we found this place called City Tap. That's what it's called. City Tap. And um, typically when it's like not COVID, they'll have 60 beers for you to choose from on draft, on tap. So there's like probably like 20 now. And they're all lots of local beers and uh, lots of selection. So this is really cool. What do you think? So we've got to make it down the block for this bike trolley pedal tour we're doing. So we are going to take these scooters. We're going to try these out. We've never done these before. We see them all the time. And this seems like the perfect opportunity to try them. These things are so cool. This saved us like so much time. It was amazing. We had to go uphill and it was gonna take us like 20 minutes and we got here in like less than 10. For that awesome. We were recommended to get some beer for the bike thing. And so we went to this brewery called Tailgate Brewery and we got this. It's a good luck charms. It's like, yeah, like lucky charms. Very excited to try that. And then we got a coconut coffee porter and a raspberry cobbler sour snack. It's S H N A C K. Snack. Snack. So we're going to have these on the bike. Apparently, we're going to go to one. We're gonna make two stops at two different bars. We're gonna stop at one midway or sometime in it, and then we end at a bar. So it's a little chilly, I think like the low 50s, but we're ready to go. This bike tour, it's a pedal bike, pedal bar bike, will take us to through the more local areas where the locals like to go. So very excited to see and explore a little bit more in Nashville. What's up? Is the pedal bike coming our way? Is he biking it by himself? Where is it? He's coming up. Back there. He's coming up. Here, let me see if I can. Oh, here he comes. Is our bike coming? We don't know. We're in a big group. We don't know who we're with. We're going to make friends. It's going to be great. Here comes our bike. We're ready to go. We are walking to... The other side of the rotunda, not the rotunda, this roundabout, and we are gonna find our bike man. Oh, he went over there. I see. So we got a little bit to walk, but he biked up the hill for us, so we don't have to bike up the hill. We'll start on flat ground. So starting off strong, excited, ready to get some biking in. Here we are. I didn't get this on film, but on our way to our first stop, we passed RCA Studio B. This is quite a historic and significant place and was once the recording home of music legends such as Elvis Presley, Chet Adkins, Eddie Arnold, and the Everly Brothers. This music studio is known as the birthplace of the Nashville Sound, which revived the popularity of country music and helped establish Nashville as an international recording center. Other stars that have recorded there include Waylon Jennings, Bobby Bear, Dolly Parton, Jim Reeves, Willie Nelson, and Floyd Kramer, just to name a few. You can get tickets to take tours of the studio. You can get a ticket to tour just the studio, or tours are also part of larger tour packages that include other museums and attractions in the area. to our first stop. So our pedal tavern tour brought us to this place called High 
by Clyde's bar, and it is awesome. What did you get? What is that? The Hop and Harry's Tennessee Lager. The Hop and Harry's? Hop and Harry's? Hop and Hop and Harry's. Hop and Harry's Tennessee Lager, and I got a Blue Moon Classic. Spice is cold. What do you think? <laughs> Thumbs up. Approval. Clyde's is cool. Seems fun. We've only been here for like five minutes, but I'm going to try this. Hap and Harry's Tennessee Lager. Oh, that's good. It's really good. Yeah, we've been here for like five minutes and we're only going to be here for like another five minutes. Before we have to go back on the Pedal Tavern to go to the next stop, which I think is the final stop, Winners and Losers. So we're going to chug these beers real fast. This is going to be a challenge for me. And we're going to hop back on the bike and go to the next place. We headed back to the Pedal Tavern to make our way to our final destination, a bar called Winners and Losers. One side of the bar is called Winners and the other is called Losers. On our way to the bar, we were informed that this is a bar that Miranda Lambert enjoys hanging out at. If you are so lucky enough to be there when she is, you will always find her on the loser side. That almost sounds mean, like she's a loser, but that's just the side she chooses to go to. Our driver was an excellent DJ and we just enjoyed jamming out. We got a couple photos and hung out on the bike for a little while so we could finish our drinks. By the time our bike had arrived, the line for both winners and losers was quite long and we did not want to wait in the cold, so we spent the rest of the evening at another bar a couple doors down. Day one in Nashville, success. So stay tuned for the next video because we continue our journey in this amazing city. See you then.